Nature's wealth, good for your health. This is the Raw Life Health Show. Raw Life, brighten up your life. Just to appear to be healthy doesn't mean that you are healthy. There may be some marks, signs of developing disease and disorders that they are not testing for. And this is why the longevity profile is so important because here we're testing for a number of things which will refer to the future very, very closely and very distinctly. And this is why there is a giant value of the so-called cancer profile that I also have created. These tests can generally foretell the future. Once upon a time, maybe four years ago or so, I gave a lecture in Puerto Rico, San Juan, to a large group of doctors. When I finished, doctors came after me out in the hall and everybody had a question. But this one young doctor pushed his way through and he put his, points his finger at me and says, Hey, Dr. Shundell, what you are doing is biochemical fortune telling. You're telling us what our patients will become ill of 10 years from now. I say, hey, Doc, yeah, that's, that's, that's what I presented with my slides. He says, well, we need a sick patient now. We want to see a patient now. We treat them, they go home, they come back, they go home. We want this exchange. What happens to them 10 years from now? We don't care, the doctor said. I was, of course, shocked by his statement, and I'm sure that not every doctor is that way. But this particular individual was talking in plural. We don't care what happens to you 10 years from now. Well, we care because we have a responsibility for our bodies, for the temple of our spirit. So we need to know what's going on so we can correct it and we can live a full, healthy life altogether. Do you ever think they base any of these values on a bunch of unhealthy people and they determine some of the values that way? It's very possible. I, I am very convinced that is very possible because, uh, for instance, again, just t testing for sugar, we're, we're looking only at one aspect of so many. There are actually dozens, hundreds of, of uh, different analytes in the blood. So they're looking at one analyte, which is influenced by many, many, many things, many other analytes. And you're looking at one, so he's normal here. It doesn't mean that this normality is really really means that this individual is healthy, has a healthy blood sugar. I would like to say a few words about the cancer profile, if, if I may. The cancer profile I designed some years ago when, while I was doing nuclear medicine in, in a hospital. I didn't like the way that people were diagnosed. I didn't like the radioactive substances which were injecting to individuals, the x-rays. Uh, the the CTs, the, the CAT scans, I didn't like the bone marrow things and I was thinking about there must be a non-invasive way to for instance to decide or to see whether an individual is developing cancer for, for instance. So I put together what I call the cancer profile, CA profile and I found this was a, and still is an extremely important constituent of a person's future planning. This, this is the profile that we found that really not less than 60% of every uh, individual are developing cancer today. We know that the statistics are, are frightening. It's, it's, what is it now, like one of every three persons is developing cancer, somewhere, somewhere around there, according to what the statistics find. But the Cancer profile is like a predictor. It's, it will tell that an individual who has positives either are on their way to develop cancer or they already have cancer. So we see the blood of a, a number of, large number of people already have cancer and the cancer profile is very useful to monitor these individuals, how well they are faring and how well the therapies, whatever are being used, are working. I always tell my patients that whatever else you are doing for your recovery from cancer, you must do metabolic therapy. Metabolic therapy is non-toxic therapy because whatever else means either chemotherapy, radiation or surgery, 
all, all three of these modalities will take something away from the individual, whereas the metabolic natural therapy will build a person's immunity, will build a person's resistance, and also self-esteem. So we need to think about natural therapies and natural prevention. There is no other way to longevity. From your experience, what you have seen with blood work of people who are vegans, was there a big difference between people who are vegans versus people that eat some animal products? Well, before I answer exactly, exactly answering your question, I want to go back to, to the Bible, and I, I want to remind us that the beginning, God said and told Adam that I give you all the plants and fruits in, in the Garden of Eden to eat. And at that point, we were not to die. Then times go on and all the things happen, as you know, through, through the Bible. And God declares that man is evil from his earliest youth. He says, let man not be mortal. Let man live 120 years. Nobody's making it there. But at this time, he says, I give you all the plants and fruits and animals to eat. So whether that's a curse or what it is, uh, we are omnivores, which means that our digestive system is really created so or, or made so to be able to deal with uh, both animal and plant products. I think a vegan diet is extremely beneficial for, for uh, thorough detoxification, getting rid of all and many, a lot of toxic substances that we accumulate in our lives. It's also excellent for weight loss for those who are interested in it, and I think most America should be interested in that. But I personally don't think that's a total complete diet. I mean, God told us that we can go ahead and eat, eat uh, you know, animal products as well. Now, as for a blood test, yes, we, we do see some, some differences. Oftentimes I see there is a, a low serum protein level, there may be anemia, uh, accompanied with with uh, a totally you know vegetarian kind of a diet, uh, there may be hormonal deficiencies. There may be too too low cholesterol levels, and of course cholesterols are the the uh, precursors of all steroid hormones, sex hormones, cortisol, tes testosterone, estradiol, progesterone, uh, all, all those things. So there is definitely a detectable, observable difference. This is not to say that somebody extremely knowledgeable cannot put together a vegan diet that will work with, with food combination. But for, for an individual to do this needs to be very well educated. My daughter is a vegetarian and not too long ago she added uh, fish, I believe, to, to her, her diet. It wasn't too long ago. She's a pathologist teaching at, at the medical school in the United States and she's triple board certified. She's board certified in clinical pathology, anatomic pathology and also forensic pathology. So she knows what she's doing and she's doing very well on this diet. But I am not pers personally prepared to do this and uh, I'm sure that most people are not really prepared to do this very scientifically designed kind of a diet. It's not just, I'm just not going to eat animal products. I need to know how to combine my plant, you know, vegetarian products to consume. So they're not going to have vitamin deficiency, mineral deficiency, protein deficiency, you know, all those things. Nature's wealth, good for your health. This is the Raw Life Health Show. Raw Life, brighten up your life.